Welcome back from the break. And now this is the BB segment, entertainment segment. And this is where we um, interview and discuss with those that have a talent and have made something big out of this. Now we have Kwabna Kwabna and D Black in studio today. And thank you very much for joining us here. You're welcome. You're yes. welcome. So, you are on the Be Bold show, and um, naturally, you guys are the boldest in Ghana because you've come out, you have a passion, um, luck, I mean, you, you can sing, you have a wonderful, amazing voices, some of us don't, so, you know, we have to find other means. Now, I want you just to tell us exactly, I'll start with you, D Black, did you always think this was what was going to happen? I, I didn't, really, really and truly, I was, I was more of a business person, I, um, I was the brain behind marketing the music. Funny enough, I met Kwabna seven years, over seven years ago. <laughs> and the funny thing is the first time I ever stepped into a studio to record a song, he was on the song as well. Wow. And he was also... He so was you're doing a like collaboration? So Somebody was featuring me and him on his song. That's how we met. And after seven years, God has put us in this position and we're grateful to be here. Wow. And Kwabna, what about you? How did it start for you? Um... I would say um, it started like um, so well, uh, all like D Black who was in the business as far as uh, entertainment is concerned. I was doing the art. <laughs> you were doing that. I was singing. Right. Exactly. Okay. So um, I would say um, it has been um, a long road, but uh, we thank God for where He's brought us from, and where we are now, and where we are going. Now, from now from a long road doesn't cut it for us. We need to know more details. How exactly, like, did you just, I mean, so many people, young people can sing, you know, they have the voice, you know, but they just can't make it as far as you've made it. So just help us describe to us, like, what were your steps leading up to this point exactly? Okay, um, I would say it's um, hard work, determination, and uh, perseverance, I think. Um, I'll put all in jamming. I'll describe all in these uh, three. I mean words, cause um, you know there are times when um, you feel like giving up, and there will be times when you feel like, hey, it's not gonna work. But that has to be the beginning of your perseverance. Yeah. You know. So um, anybody out there, I would say that um, you just need to dedicate yourself to your work and then um, persevere. Yeah. Now, Deep Black, what are some of the challenges that you faced and in getting to the place that you are now? Well, um, first of all, the industry is not in, in, in the best of positions. It's not shaped up right. And making music in the English dialect is, is also an issue because the country listens. Most of the musicians in Ghana make music in our mother tongue. So to, to, to be making music in English was quite difficult to, to sell to Ghanaians. That was, that was my major hurdle I had to overcome. But music is music. It, they have to, there don't have to be a language barrier. So that, that, that was my most difficult hurdle to, to overcome. Yeah. And by the grace of God. It worked out. It and look at you, both of you sitting here. And I'm so honored <laughs> to be sitting right next to you guys. Yeah. Now, I also know that um, both of you are highly educated. Um, so can you describe what was that process? Because a lot of, when you look at international artists and so forth, a lot of them, they don't, you know, take it that far to university and so forth. How was that different from you being in an African country and, you know, having to get that degree and put it in your back pocket? My, my mom... <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could. <laughs> she's an education. She, she's yeah. one of those. She has a thousand masters and she has countless degrees and whatnot. So I, I, I definitely didn't. She's probably like, you can sing, but yeah. listen, D Black, you have to go to school. Yeah. She calls me Desmond, not D Black. Desmond, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I definitely had to go to university and further my education whilst making music, and, and I, I was able to fuse both of them by God's grace and, and last year I graduated so yeah congratulations because I know that's really really I've been there in what exactly is that film directing and music oh wow so you yeah. do all your filming and stuff not as all well? of it but most of it I've done just two so far yeah yeah all right, and Kwabana Kamau, how was how was it for you is it also the parents no uh, <laughs> like me um uh, though my parents are not illiterate but um I wouldn't say that I come from a home where 
I mean, education was, I mean, uh, I have parents who are so educated. Yes, um, they went to school, but not so, <laughs> they didn't get yeah. so far like I am pursuing, I mean, to, to, to do. Um, what it is is um, my parents are also people who um, would be on you to get yourself educated. Yeah, that's that's what I think helped me a lot because, um, I mean, they, they always would tell me, despite the fact that um, I'm doing music, they don't want their school fees to go waste. <laughs> so I should make sure uh, whatever money they paid educating me, I mean, should be, um, should yeah. come of some importance yeah. in my life. So, um, and apart from that, myself, I, I'm somebody who really wants to learn. Yeah, so... I mean, you I have, have to that need myself, to want to yeah, get to, to yeah, learn more. get myself educated. And it's and good. I mean, it's necessary. Doing something you never on the know side. what's going to yeah, exactly. happen. Exactly. And one day, if your voice starts to scratch <laughs> and you need to fall back onto <laughs> exactly. something, and that's it. All right, yeah. so this is the entertainment mm. segment. So we do have to get some jams going. So, DJ Snoop, if you can do us the honors of playing a little something before we get these celebrities here to do something for us. Wow. Right here, of course. See, this is the best of the best. They don't talk about you. I love this song, though. I yeah, it's it. positive. Very positive. Very positive. I think, we, I think we, need, we need to kill it so, we, so they can hear you. Yeah, let's, let's do it like a All right. <laughs> I felt pain in my heart, tears rolled down my cheeks Friends I thought existed now turn against me Is it them or is it me? Why they criticizing me? Saying things I never said, when will these rumors ever end? People talk behind your back and when you turn them they pretend And every day I ask myself if these stories have an end Till I listen to the words of a wise old man I felt the pain in my heart was gonna fester till the end He said, take it easy son, you are somebody If they don't talk about you, then you are nobody Take it easy, son. You are somebody. Mm. If they don't talk about you, then you are nobody. You and your miss you and I miss you and I I said for I want to be side of You and your miss you and I miss you and I You and your miss you and I miss you and I miss you Wow! <laughs> I'm very so, positive song. Very, very positive, positive song. song. Definitely. Yeah. Well, what exactly were you guys going for when you were going in? <laughs> what am I gonna say? Uh, uh, well, the <laughs> funny thing is, I, I was going through certain trials and tribulations mm -hmm. in my life at that point in time when I wrote the song, and I'd known Kwabna for so many years, and we always kept saying, "Charlie, you're better than one day." And, yeah. <laughs> and, and I realized he was at a point in his life experiencing mm. similar things I was. So I called him and like two days later, <laughs> Grabna was in the studio and mm. we finished the song in less than two hours. I love it. Yeah. This is my favorite song mm. on that album. Definitely yeah. love it. Thank you very so much. yes, and my last question, I don't want to you know keep you guys here Thank for too you. long, but how are you planning on going beating that international standard because you know, at the end of the day i mean yes we want to get these songs out here and Ghanaians to listen to it in africa but you know people like other artists and stuff eventually make it out there how do you plan on you know hitting the international markets wow it's mm. you can't do everything by yourself exactly it, it takes a team you need to have a dedicated team and you need to have the right structures in place mm. ghana is now getting to that point there, there, there are a lot of good distribution outlets in Ghana, but uh, they don't market the music outside of Ghana. However, I just signed a deal with um, Rockstar 4000. It's a South African-based record label that handles distribution, online distribution, digital distribution, and they're affiliated with Sony Music. So, signed to this label puts my music in over two million stores across the world, where anyone could access your music from Australia to New Zealand to to Togo, to wherever Anywhere. in the world. Yes, and, yeah. and I think it's a great platform. Music is, the marketing music has changed. People don't buy CDs anymore. Yeah. It's true. It's, a it's lot all of downloaded. Stuff. Yeah. Downloads, ringtones, call back tunes, yeah. digital downloads. So I think yeah. that's the right platform to yeah. market your yeah. music. Now, Kwabna Kwabna, can I hear from you? For, to all those young, um, you know, talented individuals out there, what advice do you have for them on the Be Bold show? Um, advice. Uh, 
All I'm going to say is uh, keep on doing what you're doing. Keep on believing in what you're doing. Because um, in everything that you're doing, it starts to blossom when you believe in it. Because when you don't believe in it, nobody else will. And then, uh, apart from that, I should have said, in everything that you do, you need to put God first. Oh, you know, right. Because he gives talent and he sees to it that, I mean, it gets to wherever he has to go to. Because sometime in the Bible, God gave talents to about four people. And we all know that story. I mean, he came back and, uh, you know, somebody returned whatever God gave. Somebody had also doubled. The other person had spoiled, I mean, or messed with his. I mean, so it, it, it works like that. God gave everybody talent, but it depends on what you do with yours. Yes. So you need to believe in yourself. Definitely. Yes. And that's the message from Carbon Akama and Deep Black. Believe in yourself. Now, that's what we have for you um, this evening um, be bold, on the Be Bold Show. Again, it stands for bringing education and building opportunity for leadership and development. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it was great. Because it annoys me. Why they criticizing me? Saying things I never said. When will these rumors ever rent? People talk behind your back and when you turn in, they pretend. And every day I ask myself, if these stories have a end, till I listen to the words of a wise old man, I feel the pain in my heart was gonna fester till the end. He said, Take it easy, son, you were somebody. If they don't talk about you, then you were nobody. Take it easy, son, you were somebody. If they don't talk about you, then you were nobody. People that hail you when you shine Be the same people that go bring you down My brother mine Never for a second think you got enough behind Cause your haters will be ruthless But God will punish them I can feel the pain of Kwabna, Reggie and Samini And when I say I feel you, they feel me Believe me, I've been through a lot In my 20 something years The things I never said that did evolve into my fears Growing up I used to ask why Papa God was never there And then he showed himself and blessed me with a career The media was seduced you, the public will rebuke you, but I will never refuse you. My lyrics go to touch you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.